You want to get forwards? Let's go ahead and do it in 1.21.9. First things first, you want to go here. This is the second link down below, and it's our official guide on getting forge. On this page, click the forge download button, and it will take you here, where you want to make sure Minecraft 1.21.9 is selected on the left-hand side, and then come under download latest and click the installer. This will take you off to add focus, where you don't want to click anything on this page. Just wait about 10 seconds, and while we're waiting, have a go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We can then go ahead and click the red skip button here in the top right and the download for forge will begin you may need to keep or save it but as long as it is a forge.jar file which this is we're good to save this file and the download will now begin from here we can go ahead and minimize our browser and forge is going to be found in our downloads folder now before we open that what if you want to play forge mods with your friends well that's where our hosting provider simple game hosting comes in go to the first link in the description down below to start your very own 24-hour ddos protected server where you can easily add forge mods and forge mod packs in just a few clicks and truly customize your server any way that you want there's even expert live chat support there to help you out along the way so let's say you add a mod to your server suddenly it's not working anymore live chat support will help you get your server back on Online. So go check it out at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash sgh. Nevertheless, Forge is downloaded. We want to open the Forge installer. Right click on it, click on open with, and click Java here. If for whatever reason you don't have Java, you need to get Java 21. It's linked down below with an in-depth guide. You may also need to run the jar fix, but that's not always required. You'll definitely need to get Java 21 though if you don't have it already. So we can go ahead and open this with Java 21, as we can see here, Java Platform SC Binary. And once we do that, it's going to open up the installer, and it's actually really easy to install Forge once the installer is open. All we need to do is click on Install Client, click OK, and it will do the rest for us. No reason you might have issues here if Minecraft or Minecraft Launcher are open. Make sure they're both closed. And you also need to have played Minecraft 1.21.9 before. Just open it up to the main menu and close out of it. Once you've done that, you'll get this message saying that Forge is successfully installed. We can click OK delete the forge installer we don't need it anymore and now we can actually install our mods which means you're going to need to download some mods there's two main places to do this curse forge and modrinth we're going to be using curse forge here just make sure these are forge 1.21.9 mods there's not a ton out at the time of recording because forge honestly just came out a few hours ago so we're kind of uh, low on what we would normally use here. Normally, I would use Waystones because there's some compatibility stuff that's great with that. But we're actually just going to go ahead and grab Simple Voice Chat because I don't know what else to do here. We can then go to Files, and then we want to make sure we're getting that Forge 1.21.9 version. And I always recommend clicking on the file itself here and making sure there's nothing under Related Projects. Now, as you can see, both of these are optional, meaning we don't have to install them. If they were required, we would also need to download these mods in order for Simple Voice Chat to work, but we don't, so we can just click Download here. The download will begin, and just like pretty much everything you download for Minecraft, you're gonna need to keep or save the file, depending on your browser. Now, from there, we're gonna go ahead, minimize our browser, and open up the Minecraft Launcher. Now, there's two ways to install Minecraft mods. One requires you to open up Minecraft and close it, and the other one doesn't. I'm going to show you the easier way to do it without having to open up Minecraft and close it and just install mods directly from the Minecraft launcher. All you've got to do is go to installations here, and then you'll have this Forge installation. Hover over it and click the folder icon. Now, you can find your mods folder. If you don't have one, just go ahead and make one. And now, all you've got to do is move voice chat into your mods folder. Once you do that, the mod will be installed and working once we're in game. It's that easy. Now just play Minecraft with your Forge installation. That is required in order for your mods to work, by the way. You must play with Forge, otherwise your Forge mods won't be active. And once you're in game, we can go to mods and see simple voice chat right here. And obviously it is in game as well. We will get the voice chat menu and everything like that. The setting up voice chat, all of that stuff. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, but you now have Forge mods in Minecraft. We will see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.